Now, I don't know about you guys, but this film is easily in my top five favorite films about child abduction. Hey everybody, welcome to Movies in a Nutshell, where we talk about movies in a quick way so you can get on with your day. I am not your amazing, spectacular host of Most Detective Artemis. God knows how many felonies that man is committing right now. No, instead I am Zayden from the Criticality Channel, and I am here to review The Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke and directed by Scott Derrickson. This review will contain spoilers, so if you have not seen The Black Phone yet, click that watch later button and come back later, or if you don't give a shit about spoilers, sit back and enjoy. Directed by Scott Derrickson, director of Doctor Strange, Sinister, Hellraiser, Inferno, which by the way, what a lineup. Dudes home in films that span from great to ant to- oh, I didn't know. The Black Phone tells the story of a boy named Finney who was kidnapped by his town's local child catcher who goes by the name The Grabber. Fitting name for a man who takes children. Though, jokes aside, we never do find out why this guy takes children. I think it's the Norman Bates approach where, you know, the less you know about his cause is what makes him scary. I die. When Finney's locked up in the Grabber's basement, he hears a black phone that isn't supposed to work ringing. And hears the voices of the Grabber's past victims who are here to give him some pointers on how to escape. Meanwhile, Finney's sister Gwen has some weird Jean Grey shit going on where she can see the Grabber's victims being taken away in her dreams, which is... Honestly, a pretty weird B-plot. Again, it probably would have been pretty disinteresting if they tried to, you know, explain her psychic powers. That being said, the plot and story of this film is surprisingly solid and refreshingly original. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen a child abduction film that went the way that this film went. Not that I've seen an abundance of them, but still. Ethan Hawke is an absolute standout in this movie. Like I said, he takes the Norman Bates approach of you don't know his intentions, and that's what makes him absolutely terrifying. And round of applause to Mathan Thames, of which I was surprised to see that this was his theatrical debut. Especially with how great he came across in this film. He didn't overdo anything, he just came off as just truly genuine. And for the dead kids, I love the way that they were done. Having the actors show up in their prosthetic and makeup to make them look like corpses was an awesome touch. And having their voice only come through on the phone while still seeing them on screen was a, just a super cool detail. This was without a doubt the most suspenseful I've felt during a movie in theaters. My heart was pounding every other minute, which should not be healthy. I might have to get that checked out. When it comes to criticisms, it mainly just comes down to plots that were just thrown in and completely forgotten about. Finney and Gwen's drunk, abusive father and deceased mother were just forgotten about completely. But that truly is about it when it comes to, you know, the lesser aspects of the film. The rest is absolutely stellar. And with that, it's time to bring out the ratings bar. We have Awesome Must Watch, Damn Fine Movie, Good Dumb Fun, Watch When You're Bored, and Avoid At All Costs. To me, I love the shit out of this movie, from the acting to the story to the Ethan Hawke dad bod, what's there to hate? So I would have to proclaim this film an Awesome Must Watch. So what were your thoughts on the black phone? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in them comments below, and make sure you subscribe to this amazing channel. I am Zayden, and here's hoping that they'll allow me to collaborate with the gentleman, as long as he's still alive.